I'm Tiaya Austin, and my project is Face to Face. The Face to Face project is allowing us to take a group of our youth of my company, Ayo Dele Drum and Dance, to West Africa, the Ivory Coast, to study about the music, the culture, the language, and being able to explore what life is like for the children in West Africa. Three or four years into our practice, we started a youth group, youth company. We have a rites of passage program, and this program is basically a mentorship as well as life preparation for young girls. Our program gives them an opportunity to explore self. What are these healing tactics and these coping mechanisms to try to make sure that our students and our children don't fall subject to the stereotypes? of our young people. And as they grow older and as they reach some of their challenges, now in turn trying to figure out how can we share some of these same coping skills and these things that we've learned growing with children and youth in other countries. Taking my first trip to Africa at about 27, 28 years old and actually being on the continent and actually seeing the lifestyle and understanding privilege, you know, being able to have access to things. Um, whereas going to some of these third world countries, the children don't have access to it. And the children have way more responsibilities. So being able to have that sense of appreciation by experiencing it, I think it says a lot for the kind of young people that we want to bring into the world and that we want to transform into our leaders. I believe that everybody that contributes to this project will feel like they accomplished something that they can raise their chest about and that they can know that they had a part of doing something for the young people that are coming into the next generation.